Once you have export it installed, it makes it very easy to export um, the entries from any particular channel. So um, we've already gone through the install process. So once you have done that, um, you'll notice underneath the content uh, drop down that you now have the ability to go to export and you can choose any of the channels that are currently available. Um, if I go to blog, I've added a couple of entries here. You'll notice that I now have the ability to just you know, open these as I normally would, or I can click on the export button. Um, and I can actually filter these down, you know, so that if I want, um, just like I would on the edit page, I can, you know, choose a date range or, you know, so on and so forth. I've got some other, um, some other parameters here. Um, and I can choose what format I want these to be exported in. So um, just for ease of uh, demonstration, I'm going to show you in Excel, um, and I'm going to include categories, and then I'm going to export. And you'll notice that it uh, has already, you know, chosen my uh, downloads folder. Um, and if I open that, you'll notice if I can make this small enough to, to bring in here, you'll notice that it actually brings over all the information tied to the individual blog entries. So the title, uh, URL title, status, entry date, entry ID, um, channel title, channel ID, which is actually very helpful as well. Um, and then even uh, over here to um, blog content, which is the uh, custom field that actually has um, the content in it and the, um, the title tag, which is something that we use um, in a lot of our channels uh, to display a specific title tag that the client may want. So um, anyway, so you can see how that would be um, fairly useful, especially if you're wanting to um, move content um, around or if you just need to export it so that you can massage the data or so on. So hope this was helpful.